everybody's been hamster. And meds! And welcome back to Cave Rickety Rails. I'm dead. I mean, if somebody was better at the temple levels. I'm surprised <laughs> we were ha able to have a somewhat coherent conversation and play yeah, the temple level too. at the same time. You'll well, get none of that in this episode. Um, <laughs> oh, should have bought lives. <laughs> Banana! Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up? The DK barrel. I'm, I'm fixing to I shoot know. back over, I'm guessing. Yeah. Um. Speaking of coherent oh. video game conversations, another thing I wanted to talk about um, Can was. I do anything with this? Nope. Sonic Boom was just announced oh, yes. recently. We haven't had a chance to talk about that on recording either. The best part is, we haven't even released the one. About the Sonic Lost World. <laughs> oh, come! I jumped. <laughs> uh, yeah, we we've got. This is gonna be like super probably weird. I don't know how dated or whatever this information is gonna be, but we still haven't released the Sonic 06 episode where we're talking about Sonic Lost World first tra trailer. Yeah, well, it might not be the first trailer. We were just talking about the gameplay. Okay, but, whatever. You know, we're still talking about a trailer. The game isn't even out yet. It is now. It, well. Yeah, that's whatever. Ah! Oh, come on, man! What do you mean? You did that. I did not! Yes, you did! I did not! You definitely pressed 2. I did not! I watched you. I pressed 2 after you did that so I could try and jump up into the barrel. Well, what are you trying to jump up into the barrel for? You so just I shot out of, no. You shot yourself out of a cannon. That's not, that... You can't jump after you shoot yourself out of a cannon. Man. I know. Anyways, um... Sonic Boom just announced the last Knuckles few days. is weird. Knuckles <laughs> looks weird. But other than Knuckles, which even Knuckles has like a little asterisk to him. Um Asterisk-ness? Asterisk. Um Asterisk aesthetic. At first when I saw the redesigns, I was kinda of put off by them. Sonic's proportions are really weird. Yeah, he seems like taller, which is off putting. It's not that he's taller. I don't mind him being taller. It's that his legs are where all the height went. Yeah. So like That's what I mean. Like I saw a chart actually that showed um Sonic's uh leg to full height ratio. And it was like in Sonic Aww. in the original like the Genesis games, it was like um 12% or something like that. And then in the adventure onwards, it was like 22%. That's of almost the exact number I was going to guess. Yeah. And then in Sonic Boom, it was like 48%. Jeez. Yeah. Like. I mean, you better go faster or something. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh. Wait. I, I didn't roll jump. Oh, I just. Oh, there's a secret. Okay. You're um, good. Um, wait for me. I can't. <laughs> oh, I can't either. Um, Good luck! What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Um, so, I really don't mind the redesigns. They look. I like Tails' design. Amy's... I'm sure we'll grow I, I really me. like... I actually really like Amy's design. It, look, it makes her look a it little looks, more... It looks... It's different. It makes her it's look a little more bit, mature, in my opinion. Yeah, like, it's kind of know, like a culture shock. One thing shock I... Type thing. Oh, crap. One thing I said to uh, Meds while we were talking about this was, um... You left me alone on a minecart. <laughs> oh, ah! no! What happened? I think I hate... And then I died. Your I barrel. Shot. Um... I hit your barrel. <laughs> and then it bounced me, I think. I th I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Yeah. Um... One thing I was saying to Meds was... You I, died I, again! I held two for the jetpack and it didn't... Um... Oh, uh, no! I can't do that! No. <laughs> Wow, this is great. Uh, to me, uh, it feels like Sonic Boom is going in a direction that they started when they got Roger Craig Smith to do Sonic's voice. It looked like when they got him to do the voice of Sonic. I don't remember you saying this. I, I told you this. Anyways, I feel like when they got Roger Craig Smith on as Sonic's voice, they started going in a direction that was kind of maturing the Sonic franchise in a way. Because now Sonic doesn't sound as much like... Okay, now I, you vaguely yeah. skimmed over what you're saying right now. You, we didn't have this conversation. Yeah, I know. Because I okay. realized I wanted to kind of like explain more on recording when, once we got to it. Um, well, obviously they wanted him to mature. He had his 16th birthday. Yeah, that's true. Um, his, because like his, if we go uh, back, his 20th 16th birthday. <laughs> yeah. If we go back to um, like 
the cartoons with Julia White voicing him. He he was definitely like kind of a kid back then. And then as he went through the games, like with uh, Ryan Drummond and uh, the others, <laughs> sorry, I'm drawing a blank on right now, which makes me really sad. Um, uh, I don't remember his name either. The four kids guy. I just feel really bad. Um, oh my god! Again? You did it again! <laughs> did you did it again! <laughs> Anyways, um, like, yeah, with Sonic's older, or not older, but previous voice actors, um, they were kind of making him a little older, kind of more teenagery, like early teenage. <laughs> That's a good word. <laughs> like an early teenager. Um, ah! And then with Roger Craig Smith, he definitely sounds a lot more mature. Um, Wait for me. <laughs> Wait for me. Wait for me. But. <laughs> One thing you said when I brought this up initially was like, in ah! less so in like. Generations, <laughs> That's not what I said, by the way. Like, as the games kind of progress, like from Unleashed okay. to Generations to Colors, to the, or not in that order because that's not the order they came out in. But um, and even like Lost World, um, their Sonic's dialogue and stuff became kind of the reverse of what they did with the voice. Like, it was a lot more kitty. Yeah. And um. One thing it looks like with the redesigns, the new world, uh, everything like that, it looks like they're kind of moving in, back in that direction of having Sonic mature. As, in the gritty? Yeah. Um, and I can't, I gotta admit, one thing that I was kind of off put by with the redesigns was like the excess bandages all over everything. But, I kind of um, like it. I, I did like it, but it was kind of like a little weird it was to me, like, like okay. why? But um, I did find out that that's actually a technique uh, that runner... I was on the edge of... <laughs> That's actually a technique that runners uh, do. Oh yeah, they do do that. Uh, called... I did it again! You can't slow down there! Why do you keep making me slow down just like you shoot the cannon? I... <laughs> it's called spatting to like reduce uh, the wear and tear on the shoes and stuff, which actually makes a lot of sense for Sonic considering like how much he runs and how fast he's going. Well, uh, not everybody else. Do you realize that we're seven minutes into this episode? Yes, I do. Haven't beaten a single level. <laughs> <laughs> Whose fault is that? You keep shooting the cannon. cannon I do not. Um, or post maturely. So you know, as I uh, as I kept looking at the uh, the fucking redesigns—that's the word—and <laughs> glaring at knuckles. <laughs> yeah. Um, I kind of got more comfortable. One thing I saw, uh, this was the asterisk when it came to knuckles. I saw him in the middle of a battle, like he was punching something, and I gotta say, for like actually, three frames. Yeah. So I gotta say, in combat, Knuckles' uh, new redesign actually looks pretty decent. Like, it definitely shows off his more Did power. you see him climbing, though? <laughs> yeah, that looks horrible. <laughs> it that, it looks ridiculous. I said this to you when I first saw the uh, the screenshot. He looks good in combat, ridiculous everywhere else. Um, it wasn't a screenshot, it was an actual French trailer. I don't know how no, that... No, I, I, uh, I linked you the article that I was reading about it that kind of fleshed stuff out a bit more. Um, yeah, but the, it showed him in combat in the trailer. Yeah, but this was like a close-up screenshot of it. No, it wasn't. <laughs> um, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I, I gotta say the combat looked the combat looked decent at, with Knuckles because of his like his body style looked decent. But everywhere else, the climbing, the running, the everything looks horrible. Also, so, I'm really finish what you were saying. I lost my train of thought. Okay. I was gonna say to keep going because that was pretty much the end of the play. Oh, okay. Um, well, I remember my train of thought. I found it. Okay, go for it. It's going like 60 miles an hour right now. I keep doing that! I got it though. Oh crap! Why would yeah. you? No, you have the jetpack! I I tried. I tried. It wouldn't jetpack. It wouldn't have to. You shot the cannon too early. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh, I really like the direction the gameplay looks like it's going. Yes, the gameplay looks like it's going to be It doesn't really look like fun. it's going to be a traditional Sonic game, which I'm okay with. Because it's... It's going to have fast speed stuff, but oh, it I... also looks like it's going to be like a puzzle platformer type of game. Like, because the dev team is made up of... Ooh, I'm, Big I'm Red Button is one of Naughty Dog's founder, Naughty Dog being uh, Jack and Daxter... Uh, did they do slightly? No, they did. That was like a punch. Um, yeah. Jack and Daxter, Uncharted, The Last of Us, which is like my favorite. Oh no! One of my favorite. Like Last of Us, Last of Us is probably my favorite uh, generation or game of the last generation. Um, 
but so yeah they've got that they've also got people from insomniac which was the old my one of the biggest games of my childhood was or game series of my childhood was the original three spyro games insomniac did that they did um ratchet and clank, ratchet and clank. you can see a lot of the uh, inspiration from those games in the trailers even if it's very short yeah you can tell it's different yeah and i i love it it looks like it's going to be good. And, uh, and they're not it looks like four-player co-op. Yeah, and they're not getting rid of the uh, speed at, either. Yeah, like, it's still there, definitely. So, In fact, there was like five seconds of the trailer dedicated to showing Sonic flying on water. Yeah. Um, so it looks like it's shaping up to be real... Oh, wait, there's... I'm pretty sure that's... Oh. I just saw the edge of the barrel. Um, I thought that was going to try and kill us. <laughs> Uh, it looks like it's shaping up to be really good. It's got a lot of potential. I'm really excited for it, actually. I actually haven't been this excited for a Sonic game since, I'm gonna say Generations, because I had so such high hopes for that. Which it did meet in some ways and didn't in others. I was really, really, really hoping there would be DLC for Sonic Generations. Yeah. Another thing um, that I told you. This game is seriously reminding me of how Sonic 06 started, too. Yeah. Because I was super... That was probably the Sonic game, besides Generations, oops, that I was most excited for. And Sonic 06 because had the potential to be really, really, really good. They just rushed it really, really, really badly. <laughs> yeah. But, like, with the screenshots and everything, and it looked like it was going to be super cool, and then this super cool Break Breaker game yeah. that I spent hours on. Uh -huh. But... It's, it's seriously giving me a Sonic 06 vibe because they're trying to reboot the series, except it's in a different universe. Which different I really universe. like um, because that way... Uh, it gives them more freedom. It does give them a lot more freedom. Because right. it's in a different universe. like It's not as much of like a, holy crap, what are you doing with the series? It's like, oh, okay. And we still got me, the other one. And this, this makes is a me cool a lot more uh, to it. It makes me a lot more comfortable with the, uh, the redesigns too because now I know that even, they're not even though I like the redesigns, they're not... Some of them. Yeah, <laughs> uh, they're not permanent. So, like the main. So it makes it all okay because you know that the ones that oh, you we know. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. What? Okay. Um, the ones we know are still there. Another it's not really like, like a complete overhaul of the entire series, yeah. like 06 was trying. Another to thing do. I really like about that and the whole big red button thing, Sonic Team is actually still producing. A Sonic game, so they're gonna have more time. Just kind of like um, how you know, recently uh, it was announced that the Call of Duty is gonna go to a three-year schedule, and they're adding Sledgehammer games to the mix. Um, it's gonna get so good with Modern Warfare Three. Yeah, but still, uh, it's gonna give them more time to uh, kind of flesh out games, so they don't have another 06 on their hands where it's like, oh, oh we... there was a secret there. They're not gonna have another 06 on their hands where it's like, oh, we need to get this out right now because otherwise we're missing Sonic. I hope Sonics. Call of Duty doesn't have another 06 on their hands. <laughs> they did bad enough with the first one. Oh, oh, I tried to hold the R button that's not there. Uh, I don't know what I was trying to, what R button would do, even if it wasn't. Dang it. Oh, wait, what? There How was, are we supposed to get that? There was a minecart back there. Yeah, I know. How, I thought. Oh, I tried to jump onto it, but it, I could. Oh. Well, here, let's die. Okay. Um. So, not only do I have high hopes for Sonic Boom, now I also have really high hopes for whatever uh, Sonic Team's going to be putting out. Also, TV show. Trying. Yeah, the TV show looks like it's going to be really funny. Yeah, I'm excited for that, too. Um, what else was I want? Uh, there was another thing. There was the game and oh, TV show, and then thing they announced... Oh, what? There Thank you go. Um, one thing I'm not sure... I think you were at work when I found this, but um, I saw an interview yesterday about, uh, like, someone had with... Oh, crap. That doesn't anyway. sound like an entertaining interview at all. <laughs> an interview someone did with um, Big Red Button people at... Um, I want to say it was... Whatever big convention happened recently. Oh, okay. Where, they, where, Sonic, was, where Sonic Boom was kind of, like, announced. Um, he said a lot of stuff, like, you... I know you saw the, uh, the colored beams in the, uh... In the trailers, like the running thing. Uh, no, like at one point, uh, they were like Sonic and a they had Sonic and Amy uh, using the beams to. Uh, oh, I do vaguely remember that. And then Tails in the yeah show, right? Trailer. Um, apparently, Wait for me for the games, those beams. Oh no, we're supposed to grab onto that. I got this. 
apparently what the game uh, the the beams are going to be their uh, their way of keeping players together during the uh, co-op like so that they don't get too far apart and everything like you know how, so like, they're going to pull a knuckles chaotix on us kind of but not really because the beam you could see sonic using it to like not grind but uh, kind of uh, what's it called? What? Where he's hanging on, uh... He, he was, like, riding along a, uh... You should stay down there. Fine. Or... I just dropped, and it didn't do it. <laughs> um... Okay. Um... Uh, oh, no! No! You dropped too early! I'm sorry. Um... I don't know. Uh, really?! I, I thought I was gonna spawn on the... Okay. Because normally when you throw, it it goes, it takes me back. What? What? Ah, what? <laughs> Why would you do that? I didn't do it! It did it on its, I was holding the button! Um. See what happens when we have conversations. But so you can use the uh, the beams as like, like with Sonic and Amy using it to pull whatever they were pulling. Or um, at one point Sonic's using it to like, like he hooks it onto a rail and he's uh. Swinging? Kind of. But no. What do you mean, kind of? How do you kind of like, swing? Okay, okay, I know, um, when we were playing, uh, Splinter Cell, uh, there was that one mission where we had, where we got to this one ledge and we had to hook on to the rope. And zip line? That's the word! Zip line! Oh, I jumped there. Oh, God. Where am I? I'm dead. Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> Yeah, he used it to zip line across uh, one of the, like, a big rope thing. So instead of, like, grinding, I guess he's going to be using that. Um, stuff like that. So it, it has a bunch of different functions. Um, that's, that's something. <laughs> I forgot where I was going with it. Um, yeah, so it looks like it's a cool thing. One thing... Um, one thing that that was said at the end of the uh, interview. Why would you make me do that? One thing that was said at the interview. I'm not sure if you, I, I sent this to you, but I'm not sure if you read it. There are no Chaos Emeralds in this universe. Yeah, you told me. You didn't send me the link, you just told me there's no Chaos Emeralds. And I'm like, oh, that's weird. Yeah, it's it's weird. No Chaos Emeralds in the Sonic Ring universe. Which kind of makes me wonder, like, what they're going to... Because they're probably going to have some form of super thing. So I wonder how they're gonna go about that. As cool as the Chaos Emeralds are, I think I'm okay with that strength. Yeah, I mean, I can. I can. It I'm... lets them be a little more diverse. Yeah. Because the entire game always revolves around Chaos Emeralds, except for when it doesn't. But <laughs> that's a rough thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. But like every single game, it's always Chaos Emeralds. So I like that they're trying to branch off and create a new storyline. Um, yes, something, I, I know there's something out there. Ah, I didn't jump! Why didn't it jump? Sometimes I feel like this game just doesn't work. I feel like, I feel like it's going to be a waste of time because I can't catch up. Where am I? <laughs> ah! Oh, come on. Okay, um. You did it again! I you I, I thought the momentum was no! gonna carry me, and it didn't. You didn't even have enough momentum for it to carry you like that. Why isn't it working? <laughs> Don't even. You're gonna screw up, and we're gonna have to start over again. Yeah. Okay. Stay. Stay. Stay! Don't. Now. There you- Well, you used your jetpack and went backwards! If you would've just dropped, you would've been completely fine! I thought I was overshooting it. No! <laughs> My jetpack just completely kills all momentum forward. Yes, it does! Don't use it! <laughs> okay, um... Still on 4-2. Yep. 20 minutes in. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's pretty much it for the Sonic Boom conversation, so... There was something else. There's something else. I'll we'll probably think of it before the episode ends. Or um, not. Or not.
We'll think of it eventually. I like uh, how much Donkey Kong you were talking about in this episode. Oh yeah. Well, Sonic's more important. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> um. You missed. I, you missed. <laughs> I was looking like at you for some reason. Don't do that. Pay attention like... to yourself. It was like what? You started to say something and it just stopped. <laughs> because it's like kind of scri scripted in a way, like you know, we're together on the minecart. I expect us to like have the same jumping art when we jump no. off. But because we jump at different times, some better than others. Why would you? No, you're on there. I'm oh, not. I was dead. <laughs> no, you were on there though. <laughs> um, but I forgot I needed to jump, <laughs> and you didn't jump. I, I I tried, like I respawned, and then but you had already started going, so I didn't have time to jump up. I tried. Of um, course you did. The co-op looks like it could be fun. Uh, it kind of also looks like um, it could have kind of a hero style. Switching between characters. I don't want that. <laughs> I think it could be good. One thing I heard in the interview, actually... As long as it's not done like Heroes was. Yeah. One thing I heard in the interview, actually, which I just remembered, um, the majority of the stages are going to be two of the characters. And then for Hub World slash boss slash special stuff, it'll probably be all four characters at the same time. Which... Oh... How did you just, like... I don't know. <laughs> um, Wait, so it's only going to be two-player co-op? Why is it doing that? My guess is no. I, I think it will be four-player co-op, but I think for single-player and for two-player co-op, um, the the uh, the game will be have two people per regular mission unless they're, they have a third and a fourth. So, like... If you have four people playing, then it'll probably be four-player co-op all the time. God, I hope they don't have computers. Yeah. Well, I think they do. Because, um... Because that never works out. <laughs> oh, you want it to? It can. Um... Uh, Why are you jumping? Why are you jumping? Don't do that! I don't want to play the game! One thing that... One thing about that that I have high hopes for, um, because of the Naughty Dog part of it, Naughty Dog has, like in the Uncharted series, The Last of Us, um, I keep forgetting I need to not, um, in Uncharted, in The Last of Us, in, um, I'm just gonna wait for you to try and get it. <laughs> There was Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> that was Naughty Dog? Yeah. I thought that was Insomniac. Nope. Oh, I guess I would... Or, no, I thought that was Sucker Punch is what I thought it was. No, Sucker Punch was the Sly, the Sly Cooper, who I always say is Naughty Dog. Sucker Punch was Rocket Robot on wheels and nothing else. Okay. Uh, the Sucker game with the best elevator music soundtrack ever. Suc oh, no, I didn't mean to press that. Sorry. Oh, you came back... Why would you come back at that part? I, I, I forgot there was a DK barrel there. Um... Sucker Punch also did Infamy Switch. Nope. Yes. Not a rocket robot on wheels. <laughs> um, I almost said Naughty Dog. Anyways. Yeah, there's... Oh, Jack and Daxter. That's it. <laughs> yeah, good job. You finally got it. Okay. So, Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank are both really good examples from the dev team of multiplayer... Look, I did that on my first try. AI characters gone right. So, I think that they have a high... Wait, Jack and Daxter had AI? Uh, Daxter. I thought Daxter was part of you. Sometimes. Oh no, we missed a letter! <laughs> it was right there. <laughs> it was right I knew there. we missed the uh, I knew we missed the letter because Oh we're missing two letters? Wait. Well this is before the Did we get Seriously? What is wrong with you? <laughs> Every other level, whenever you throw off the barrel, it spawns me on the ledge. Oh, that's right. The end is... I get it. I got it. All right. Um, what we did miss, there was a, a barrel that we had to jump into. That we yeah, missed. I saw that, and I was like, oh, okay. That's probably bananas. Bananas. And it wasn't. <laughs> well, it was, but it was more. Look, twice in yeah, a row, so man. 
I almost missed that barrel though. Okay, where's the barrel that I need to jump into? Oh, right. oh man, it's there. on the. <sighs> um. Jesus. Anyways, Ratchet and Clank is probably a better example because that has more of an AI to it. Wait, does it? I don't think so. No, I was thinking about multiplayer. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this AI is amazing. It's like a human <laughs> player like or something. It's not even there. <laughs> um, but no, uh, Joel... Dude, these online multiplayer bots are the best. Joel and Ellie in The Last of Us. Ellie was a great AI character. They, It was a little weird because... They, well, that's also a completely different game. But what I'm saying is... I have faith that the developers can make good AI. Um... Yeah. <laughs> so should we just start focusing and try to beat the level now, or...? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's a no. <laughs> I want that so bad. I do not necessarily like Eggman's design. He's not an egg anymore. <laughs> no. Although, I've never been more glad that they kept his voice actor in yeah, the great yeah. purge of voice acting. Sonic. Yeah, that was, that was something. Why did they decide to do that all at once? Uh, I was holding one. Now you know how I feel. Why did you even do that? There's a barrel! Oh, God. See, he spawned me on the edge. Not on the edge, on the ground. That's what I meant to say every time I said ledge. Um. Yeah. Jump. <laughs> Stay here and wait until you I need caught to it! fall. He did it! Good job! No. <laughs> okay, remember, we gotta jump on this enemy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah go. good job. At least one of them got it. Hey! Did it! Now, don't screw up this literal last thing. I wanted to get the DK. <laughs> Alright, well, after 30 minutes, we just stopped talking and did it. <laughs> <laughs> it's good it was your conversation that caused this! It's good to have conversation. Yeah, but I'm sure... I don't even remember what we've been doing the past, like, 20 minutes. But I'm sure the viewers hate us right now. I think they'll appreciate our insight and opinions on Sonic Boom. In a Donkey Kong game. In a Donkey Kong game. Goodbye. <laughs>